Welcome back to Tech Garage presented by rockauto.com. Well, the project M&M, the Mercury Makeover is back as well as Tom is. Tom, hey man, we touched every fluid in this car minus the transmission and the differential. Today we're gonna tackle the transmission fluid. Good idea? Good idea, there's a, a filter just like the crankcase has a filter, the transmission has a filter, we need to change that, we need to change the fluid. Yeah, and this is gonna be a big old job. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. We got our bolts out of the back already. We're just gonna work our way. You got your gun. Let's go ahead and work our way to the front here and we'll get some of these bolts out. Pull the front bolts out. All right, you're down to one. You ready to take a bath? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a nice drain pan from Lyle and rockauto.com, but I think we'll still get a few yeah, on it. Yeah, it's a good thing we got this, including the gasket. Now, a couple things I like to do, I like to match up the gasket, make sure it's going to work prior to draining it, and also there's a filter inside of there. You'll see in that in a minute. So go ahead and get your bolt, Tom. I'll kind of hang on to it. I brought the enforcer in case we need it, but it doesn't look like it. Look at that. There it goes. Now there's no way around it. I mean, it's gonna be a mess. This is what it is. I know you come in here, you says, hey, what's the professional way? How are you not gonna get greasy? <laughs> it's not gonna happen. <laughs> Unless you got a drain plug. Good All right, so what I'll do now is I'll go ahead. We got a lot of it out. And this is pretty cool. If we drop the rear a little bit, Tom, you get your gun up there and we just start dropping the rear. You'll see the front will start tipping down. We'll hold on to the pan at the same time. If you can get on that bolt, we'll kind of go simultaneously. And what we'll do is we'll just run it down. There you go. And you see that front end start dropping down, that's exactly what we want. And eventually we're going to lose the whole bolt, which is absolutely perfect. We're going to do this hopefully without taking too big of a bath. Okay, so here we go. Look at this. We can dump it out. Two people definitely help. Hey, I'll tell you what. Yeah, that was nice. And also we're not laying on the ground taking a bath as well. <laughs> you know, it really is not in that bad of a shape. This is pretty cool. You know what this tells me? That tells me that it's never been apart before because they actually put that in there, the plug from the factory. So that's pretty cool. We got 53,000 miles. It's never been serviced, 10 years old. Good call. So we're gonna get rid of that. Now also, if you look inside of here, I mean, you got a magnet right here. Tom, go ahead, scrape some of that off with your finger. Oh, there wow. you go. Yeah, you yeah. see that? You know what that is? Bits of uh, transmission. Bits of transmission. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. You gotta clean that off. And yep. Now up in here, we got the filter located right here. I'll just use my enforcer. I'll try to pop that off at the same time a little bit. Once again, without taking a bath. Oh, almost, pretty good. Headed that way. Come right out of there. Tom, there's some solenoids, there's some valves, there's some pressure valves inside of that transmission that can fail. You guys offer that stuff as well? Yeah, new, newer modern transmissions have these solenoids that, and if you, you get harsh shifts, you get slow going into gear, these might need to be replaced. Yeah, we, we sell all that at rockauto.com. That's pretty cool, and check this out. I got some old clutches, and I got some new clutches, and this is how a transmission actually works. It just uses line pressure, and it squeezes these between metal plates in here, and that's what you just scraped up when you did right there. That's a bunch of uh, material from this fibers. This is a brand new one. Now, you can almost see the lines on here. You can see how good it is because it's gonna wick away a lot of that fiber material. That's why it's so important to change the fluid. Now, take a look at this one. What do you think of that mess? Yeah, it's, it's mostly missing. It's it must be on this magnet. <laughs> That's exactly where it is. If it was in this transmission, it would be. It's also broken. So that fiber is going to wear out over time. Good idea to change that transmission fluid just for that reason alone. Time, there's additives, there's fluids to put in there. Now what we need to do, Tom, is we need to go ahead and clean this pan really, really good. You can wipe down the transmission surface here and uh, all the surface around here and some of the valve body, get it cleaned up. We still got a couple spider webs lingering from the top but uh, it's gonna look good. Now, just as important, you wanna use your torque wrench and you wanna use those torque specifications. This one calls for 10 foot-pounds of torque for putting these bolts back, okay? Because we got our gaskets made out of a material. We don't wanna crush that and have any leaks. And then we're gonna go up top. We're just gonna fill it, warm it up, follow the manufacturer's specifications for checking that transmission fluid. Always like to take it on a test drive, come back, recheck it. Man, you know what? What are we going to look at today on the computer? Well, um, often if you get a major transmission work done or you do it yourself or you have a shop do it, you'll, they'll recommend replacing the radiator and you're like, well, hey, that's not connected to the transmission. Well, in, in many radiators is the transmission oil cooler. And if you get um, particles like this too much, there's no way to really clean that out. It gets clogged up. And for a rockauto.com newsletter, we actually cut one open so you can see how narrow those passages are and, and why it is a good idea to replace the transmission oil cooler and the radiator if necessary at the same time. And yeah, you guys are stealing ideas from Tech Garage. We got a lot of cool cutaways. <laughs> check out that newsletter. Matter of fact, let's check it out on the computer. Okay.
Now we went ahead and changed and serviced our filter and our fluid on our project M&M, &M, the Mercury makeover. But Tom, you mentioned under the car, I mean, there's other problems. I mean, once those clutches wear out, it's all over the place. Right, that, that material circulates throughout the system and you'll often be told to replace the radiator at the same time as your transmission service. And the reason for that is the transmission oil cooler is part of the radiator. And there's really no way to flush it out. For the rockauto.com newsletter, we c took a 93 Ford, we cut open the radiator, took out the transmission oil cooler, which at first glance looks like a big tank. Wow. But, but then you turn it and it's hollow. The, and here we show the, uh, the uh, transmission fluid actually just circulates between the inner and outer wall of this tube. Right. And, and if, if you've got any kind of grid, or it, it's going to be stuck in there. There's no way to wash it out. I'll tell you what, the video question of the week, it's a good one. You don't want to miss it. Stick around. We'll be right back with more Tech Garage right after the break.